Hey everybody and welcome back. So we are going to be using hibiscus and mint today as our as our spritzer or as our L in our LOC method as our liquid. And I'm just going to show you guys how I prep it. You know, just take like two spoons of it, throw it in your jar and then pour some hot water, let it sit overnight and then transfer that in your bottle using a funnel so that you don't make a mess and then you're good to go. Then our second mist, if you do not have hibiscus available, you can use mint. I have a mint garden, so I went to go fetch this outside. Grabbed a few, throw them in there, hoid my hot water, and then let this sit overnight, and then I was Gucci. So I do have to confess, here at home, hibiscus is a thing. You know, we drink hibiscus every now and then. It's kind of like rebos. If you're not drinking rebos in my house, we're drinking hibiscus and mint tea. So we had already had like three jars prepared in the fridge. So I just took that and threw it in my in my spritzer in my bottle basically and then i drank the other one i made earlier on because yeah you can actually drink hibiscus it's very sweet so then i'm going to be showing you guys how i use it and then obviously then show you guys how i moisturize so uh you guys saw my hair's a bit dry it's throwing up gang signs i'm gonna section just to make sure i am covering each strand and then i'm going to spritz that all over my hair and then just like you would use it the same way you would use water obviously here the only ingredient here that's like 99.9 percent .9 present here it's water <laughs> okay <laughs> and then um and then yes then you're just going to massage that in squeeze the water in guys we want to make sure that you are also taking a little bit of whatever is on your hair and massaging that into your scalp it's water it's super lightweight it's not going to be clogging your follicles so it's not it's gonna penetrate right through okay and also follow that up with a leave-in conditioner guys your deep conditioner is not a leave-in conditioner i cannot emphasize this enough use a leave-in conditioner that was designed to be a living conditioner okay don't try to substitute here and again if you have low porosity hair please stick to using lightweight leave-in conditioners and then i'm going to follow that up with my oil these are the steps that i always use guys i'm going to follow that up with my oil that has herbs and spices and then also just take a little bit of that and rub whatever is left of it onto my scalp give myself a nice scalp massage so i can stimulate hair growth so i can just basically just warm up the spirits but more than that also start activating my sebum glands okay so using hibiscus on your on your hair balances your sebum glands to help maintain a natural moisturization that is why it's super important for you guys to actually massage your scalp using also essential oils like peppermint that's why i've also used uh, a bit of mint in my mixture just so i can also help uh, stimulate my scalp and encourage it to uh, help open up the follicles and just give birth to new hair and then i'm going to follow that up with my shea butter and not forgetting to put that on the ends of my hair because they are the oldest hibiscus helps to strengthen your roots guys that's why i'm also massaging it into my scalp because it is high in flavonoids and amino acids and flavonoids actually helps to encourage blood circulation to your hair follicles plus that mint listen you are just telling your hair like listen baby you need to go 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 you know what i mean and it also removes the dead follicles and it just chucks that out and then also stimulates a new hair growth so i mean guys look i'm gonna be your plug okay like i am i want everyone to have good healthy hair also if you suffer from like denruff get into the habit of using hibiscus in your hair it also protects your scalp from external damage and guys this is how i also keep my hair dark so not only do i use other oils um such as jojoba oil which also acts like a sunscreen for your hair hibiscus does the same and guess what it's super lightweight right it's super light it's a dried herb you can use the flower you can make it into a powder it helps to restore your elasticity and prevents breakage i mean <gasps> it also helps to keep my hair black like dark you, you guys know my hair is always it's like pitch black naturally this just keeps it that way so we're good guys we're good all right this is how i moisturize my hair this is please guys like 
we are going to be growing our hair last week i told you we're going to have eiffel tower length bra strap length tailbone length this year we're going in hard and i want everybody to have the right information so that because with this information you can know which ingredients to use to help to encourage growth on your hair and to repair the damage that has been done instead of using one product that was that was manufactured in a factory that does not necessarily know your hair needs you hear what i mean so i'm um, first educating you guys because i know some of you guys are pressing me for a, a hair growth challenge i cannot do that if you guys do not have the right information because what if i'm saying to you guys use fenugreek in your hair that time you don't need that amount of protein in your hair you get what i'm saying so here everybody has an equal chance to say hey I will use just mint or I will just use hibiscus or I'll just use fenugreek or I'll just use aloe vera. Some of you guys are allergic to some of these things. You get what I mean? So this year we are going in hard. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And please do not forget to share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.